Hello everybody, this is Ariane from La Fée de la Mer, Handmade Soaps in the Magdalen Islands. Today, uh, I'm actually not making soap in this video, but I'm going to show you how I um, bevel some of my soaps. Yesterday, I made the Salt and Kelp Spa Bar called Processed Soaps, and because this is a salt bar, which is high in coconut oil, and a really, really hard bar of soap, um, if I were to like uh, wrap wrap it and sell it like this, the edges are so sharp, it's almost uncomfortable to hold it in my hand like this. I don't bevel all my soaps, but this one I do, and when I do that, I have some tools that I like to use, and I'd like to introduce them to you today. Last year, I attended the Handcrafted Soap and Cosmetics Guild annual conference in Atlanta, and I was looking for a roommate to share the room while I was there, and somebody introduced me to Lilu Soap Tools, and she gave me these two um, soap planer and beveler. So this one is actually the grip and trim soap beveler. So it has a grip here, and you can see the little indentation here. So this is the blade that's gonna trim or bevel uh, your soap. And then here, this one is the Grip and Trip Bladeless Soap Planer Beveler Combo. And um, there's a little piece of rubber here because there's an edge here so that you can actually um, plane your soap if you need to like smooth out a side. And you also have the beveler right here. What's really practical about these, um, because they are stainless steel, they are very sturdy and durable. I mean, you can drop this on the floor. Your, your floor is gonna get dented, but these'll, these won't. Um, so they won't rust, they're really sturdy, and you can wash them uh, in the dishwasher, you can hand wash them in hot soapy water, you can soak them in, there's, you know, there's no wood on them, so they won't warp. Um, very sturdy, I really, really like them. So, uh, let me show you how I go about and bevel my soaps. Other tools that I like to use uh, while doing this are, of course, my uh, soap um, vented drying trays, and I also have this uh, pizza dough, like kind of a pan. Um, I actually got this off of a website called Websterant, up on my friend Joanna, the soap gal's recommendation, and I really like these. She uses these as soap molds, but I use these as working trays, and they're awesome. And here's a closer look to my soap drying trays. They're vented, so you don't need to flip your soaps around halfway through. They just dry from all sides. They are made of sturdy, durable plastic, and these come from soapequipment.com. Okay, so let's start. I usually, I hook, um, my tool, my beveler, um, on the side of this container. Uh, you could also do this straight on the table, but I like to do it in a tray so that all of the little soap pieces fall in the tray and then I don't have to wash my table. I can just like, you know, rinse this out. And then I bring another soap tray uh, closer to me so that I can put my beveled soaps or my trimmed soaps in there. Okay, so I just pass it along each side. And that's it. Now I have really nice and smooth edges and when this soap is in your hand, it is no longer feeling sharp. So I just keep going. If this gets too soapy, I always have a wet rag and I just like wash it along the way and keep going. And actually when you put water on your trimmer, uh, it's gonna be much easier to slide the soap down because you know, soap and water are kind of slippery.
You don't have to work in a tray when using these tools, so you can actually just grip it like this to the table, and this way when you push forward, nothing is moving and you really have a good grip. Of course, this will mean uh, washing your table after you're done working, but it does a really good job. And I always like to wipe it again, as I said, once in a while, and it makes my, my tool a little bit more slippery and easier to slid the soap along. And after you start um, using these tools for a little while, you're gonna get you know, really quick at trimming and beveling and planing your soaps, because it's just like a repetitive motion and you always do the same movement. So it just takes a couple seconds to clean out your soaps. at the Grip and Trim Bladeless Soap Planer Beveler Combo. Um, so this one also has a blade right here. By the way, it's not that sharp, so these tools are really safe to use. There is a protection for, for when you're not using it, because if you really wanted to, I guess you could hurt yourself with this. But like if you just run your fingers on it like this, it's not stripping my gloves, it's not you know stripping my hands. Um, I don't plain this particular soap here, but here I just want to give you an example of what you can do with these. We have a soap that I made a couple days ago and this was the outer side of my mold, so it's not perfectly straight. You can probably see that. So you would use the planer portion of the mold to just kind of push your soap forward on it and then it planes and gives you a perfectly smooth side. And then you can see here that it just removes a really, really thin layer of soap. And then you can you know, make all the sides of your soap. So I have the top that's not um, perfectly straight and I don't mind that, but if I wanted my soap to be absolutely, absolutely perfect, I could just do the same thing here. And just pass it a couple times until it's perfectly smooth. And because this is a combo tool, I can also use it to then trim my edges. Do all sides if I wanted to. And you can use this portion and this one independently. They don't have to be uh, both used at the same time. They are spaced enough so that you can use either just the planer or just the beveler. Did I do all sides? Yes, I did. I now have a perfectly straight sided soap with beveled edges and it looks rather classy. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep on working on these soaps now and you can see how uh, easy it is and quick it is to use these tools. And then we're gonna go wash them. And just a quick uh, note on cleaning these up. As I said, they can be fully washed in water. So I'm just gonna put some water. This is a little piece of the solid dish cake I made online uh, a couple weeks ago. And I molded some leftovers and I just use it for my dishes. Okay, so we got some nice soapy water and you can see that these are all soapy. That's it. And if you're like me and lazy and <laughs> don't like to wash the dishes, well, you can put these in the dishwasher as well, but I don't need to show you that. You just pop them in, let the machine do its work.
If you need one of these tools and don't know which one to choose, well, um, the Grip and Trim Soap Beveler is 85 US dollars on lilusoaptools.com. This one um, will only trim and bevel. Um, so if you don't, you don't need to plane your soaps, then this is a good choice. If you're not sure and you would like to do both and be able to trim and plane your soaps, this one is a combo tool and it is 125 US dollars on lilusoaptool.com. So this one is like a great option if you want to have multi-uses. Uh, Lilu Soap Tools also has other planer and bevelers. So she has the ones that are not grip and trim, like that do not have the grip here uh, on the edge. And she also has like just the planer, just the bevelers. She also has a uh, soap mold and soap cutters. So definitely check her out. And I'm really, really excited because I'm gonna get to see her again because I'm going to Dallas, Texas for the annual Handcrafted Soap and Cosmetic Guilds Conference. I'm gonna be giving a bath bomb making seminar with Lee Choi, the owner of the Bath Bomb Press. I'm really excited. And Lee Lu uh, is from Dallas, Texas. That's her hometown. So I'm gonna get to see her and I spend, I saved an extra day after conference to spend the day with her because because we really clicked uh, last year when we met uh, as we were roommates and it was so much fun to be around her. So definitely check out her website. She's on Facebook, Instagram, uh, on Etsy, and she has the lilusoaptools.com. Of course, all the links will be right down there below. I will also leave a link up here for her YouTube channel. So show her some love and definitely check out her tools. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope this review has helped you to you know, decide if this is some kind of tool that you may need in your soap making business. See you later. <laughs>